Good morning! This is Holly with Handcrafted Blessings and it is time for Coffee and a Card. Although maybe I should call this morning just a card because I don't have coffee. Um, I don't know if you can tell right now but my hair is still quite wet. Um, just woke up a little bit ago and so uh, I'm, yeah I'm still getting going. So uh, let's see here. My um, so what you can't see right now, and I don't know how much you're going to see, um, when I put my camera down, but my craft table is completely covered with stuff. So it's kind of crazy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Hi, Kathy. Um, I am in the middle of making a whole bunch of swaps, uh, about 120 that I have to have done, uh, by Thursday. And so I just have stuff everywhere. I haven't fully unpacked from my trip. And um, hi, Ruthie. And so, you know, just still trying to get in, get it together. <laughs> so you guys get to, oh, yeah, I'm waving my water bottle around too. Um, so y'all just get to join in my craziness here this morning um, and see what's going on. So, um, you know, I, I was gone for a month. And so, hi, Tammy. Hi, Carol. Um, yeah, Tammy, I'm so glad I had a safe trip too. You know, even, even with the, uh, flat tire, um, it was still a great trip. Um, just wonderful. Um, but as you know, I love to show happy mail and I couldn't do that when I was on the road cause I wasn't getting my mail. So, um, I came back to a huge pile of cards that y'all have been sending me and I'm so thankful. So thank you very much. Um, and I'm going to show just a few at a time, um, because otherwise we'd be here for like an hour looking at all my mail and that's really not why you joined right <laughs> so all right so I picked out four today I haven't even looked at them all I did was open the envelopes so you didn't have to listen to paper tearing um, so the first one comes from Dawn oh and Dawn is from Minnesota Stillwater Minnesota and look at that isn't that beautiful hi Sarah hi Kristen um, isn't that a gorgeous card oh my goodness this is fantastic. So the ribbon here, it actually goes all the way around. So it's actually kind of like um, a little belly band. So I'm just going to slide that off here. And then this is that, um, I don't really know what this fold is called, but like the triangle fold, maybe. Yep. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Can you tell I'm still waking up? <laughs> so it says it's a beautiful day on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's really pretty. Um, and of course, this is all from the uh, Share What You Love set. So, there we have that. Um, so, let me put that here. So, the next one is from... Oh, they didn't put a first name on here, so I don't know. Somebody from Stevens City, Virginia. We'll see if maybe it'll say on the inside. It doesn't. Um, so, this is a thank you card. Isn't that cute? I'm... It's so shimmery. It's hard to get a good picture here. So, <laughs> Sarah, it was nice meeting you too. Hi, Trudy. Um, so this has, um, looks like it's uh, silver embossed here. Um, and then we've got um, a stitch tag here, um, which that would be out of the new stitched um, framelits, I believe. So, very cute card. And on the inside, let's see if I can do this here. Really, I know how to open cards. Um, it says you earned it with the little flowers there. So, oh, thank you for sharing, Trudy. So, um, yeah, but I can't really tell you who it's from because they didn't put their name on the envelope. So, sorry if it was one of you guys. All right, the next one is from Regina. Regina's from New Jersey, and I can't get it out of the envelope. All right. Oh, let me take it out of the plastic here. That'll make it much easier for you guys to see. So, here we have another one with Share What You Love, using that beautiful paper. And it looks like um, she actually did some fussy cutting here to cut these flowers out of the paper. So, oh, much more patient crafter than me. <laughs> I'm not into fussy cutting. It's not my thing. So, and then on the inside, it says, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. And it actually, if I come up close here, you might better see, there's actually a little pearl there for the dot on the eye. Isn't that, that's a neat idea. I like that. So that's from Regina. And the last one I thought I'd show today is from Julie. And Julie is also from here in Minnesota. 
and another you can tell this is a, a popular set because I've gotten a lot of cards like this so it says comfort and healing to you um, and I, I like how she did the ribbon and everything here this is a really cute design so and then we've got with warmth and caring for me oh I mean not cover the flowers and that's just cute so very fun little card so very exciting and I'll have more happy mail to share every time I do a Facebook Live because I think I still probably have like 10 more cards that have come to me. So it'll come, I promise. <laughs> so um, today, <coughs> excuse me, um, I mentioned earlier I have been in the middle of making swaps. So I've got um, uh, 120 swaps that I'm working on and I just finished, I'm up to 80 now. So, um, so what I have on my table here are piles and piles of cards that I've been making um, because they have to be delivered um, some of them by tomorrow so I have to get them done so let me try to move some of this stuff aside um, because actually this swap card is what I'm going to show you for our video this morning so I'm going to put my camera down and I have no idea how much of my mess you're going to be able to see so you know bear with me um, all right let's see here and yes, I am wearing my Chicago Bears shirt today um, because I'm going to go for a walk later. So I don't know how many of you guys have a Fitbit, um, but I do. And you can do step challenges with a Fitbit. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm in a step challenge this week. And of course, that appeals to my um, competitive side. So I have to go for extra walks, you know, which is also good exercise, you know. <laughs> So this is the card that I'm going to be showing you today. Um, this is comes from, let me show you the stamp set, um, the Animal Outing stamp set. Now this does also come with, um, or doesn't come with, but you can also purchase thinlets to go with this. And so it'll cut out um, these various animals and the, the frog on the leaf. Um, but it has some cute sayings too. So you can do welcome, uh, wild about you, little one, so welcome little one. Uh, thank you big time. Together we make a great pair. So super cute set here called Animal Outing. Um, and so that is what I'm using today. And I have chosen to make a baby card for my swap out of it. And so this one happens to be um, for a boy. Um, you'll see I put the blue banner here. Um, I've got some stitch squares and then I've got some of these uh, clear rhinestones, which I'm having trouble getting them to stay stuck down. So We'll see about that. But let me show you um, what we've got going on here. So, so I've got, of course, my Whisper White cardstock. Um, and then I have two stitch squares. So I have Old Olive, and then I'm using, um, of course, Whisper White. And I stamped the, um, I guess this would be a rhino, right? I guess, yeah, we're going to go with rhinoceros. Um, <laughs> Apparently I need to go to a zoo a little more because I don't know my animals. Um, and there's some, some sort of cute little birdie here um, that's sitting on his nose. So, super cute. Um, I stamped it in Smoky Slate. Um, I wanted to use the new uh, Grey Granite, but I don't have it yet. So I just used um, Smoky Slate to stamp it on here. Um, and I thought it looked super cute like that. I was thinking about maybe coloring it, but decided I really like it just the way that it is. So I have, I'm taking a piece of, now this is the gray granite, so this is a new color. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put some tape here. So the gray granite is, of course, cut at four by five and a quarter um, to make a, a, you know, regular background here. And then using my um, stitch squares. So then what I did was I cut out a um, strip of paper. This is one inch wide um, by four and a quarter inches long. Okay. And what I did is I can show you here. Um, I have another one stamped here. Or not stamped, but cut out. So it's one inch by four and a quarter. And what I took was the triple banner punch. And you just slide it right in here all the way. To the back and punch and there you have a perfect little flag now of course you can cut this out with scissors too um, but you know why do that when you have a punch right on hand <laughs> so I'll, I'll set that aside all right so we are going to stamp with um, 
this one's going to be um, for a baby girl. So I'm still going to use Welcome Little One. And what I do, I'm going to have to face this towards me for a moment, but what I do when I want to line up my stamps um, is I take them before I put them on the block and I put them on my paper right where I want them. And if I was making multiples of these, I would use the Stamparatus um, so that I could just stamp them super quick and easy. But since I'm just making one on the video, so I put it where I want it and then I just set my block down right on it. And now I have my words lined up right where I want them to stamp. Otherwise, um, you could also stamp one word and then the other sets. You know, that would work too. Um, let's see here. But you know, since I was making 40 of these yesterday, um, I didn't want to have to stamp twice on each one. So I uh, did it this way. All right, so I'm using um, black memento ink. And so there we have our little banner that says, Welcome Little One. Um, and you'll see why I, I pushed it over this way here because of the way that the card is designed. So, all right. So I'm going to put some tape here on the back. And if you saw my last few Coffee and a Cards, you'll know that I didn't have tape and I was using um, glue dots. So I'm happy to be back with a stash of tape runners. <laughs> so that's always nice. So, all right, so I just put this banner all the way over to the edge, um, and then we're going to do our green square. And this one, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of put it at a little bit of an angle, um, taped down right there, okay? So it really could be angled different directions. Um, if you look through my swaps, it, you know, you'll see some that are, you know, cockeyed a different way and... Um, it really doesn't matter, just kind of whatever, whatever works. And then I'm going to take dimensionals for my white square so that I can pop this up because you know I have to use dimensionals somewhere on my cards. And this is so weird doing this upside down, you guys. <laughs> All right, so there we have, there's our cute little card. Um, and then what I did for my swaps was I also added, because the other thing that I like is a little bit of bling. So I actually just added, because I wanted to kind of highlight the word little one, um, showing that this is a cute little baby card. And so I just put a, one little rhinestone here just to, I don't know, make it pop, I guess. So, um, and so there is my little baby girl card. So coming back here to um, my sample. So um, basically all I did to make them different was I just switched the banners. Um, and of course, if you didn't know the gender of the baby that you're making a card for, you could also use um, like a yellow here for the banner um, instead of pink or blue. So um, Tammy, yeah, I, I love cute and easy cards as well. But yeah, if you switch this out for like a yellow banner or maybe a different shade of green, um, I know people tend to use those kind of colors when you don't yet know the gender of the baby. Um, but pink and blue work really well if you do know. So I thought those were those were kind of fun. So this is, this is one of my swap cards. Um, and I finished 40 of them, so I just have to package them so that they're ready to go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's it. Can you believe it? Coffee and a card with no coffee. Sorry guys. Um, I think that'll have to be my next step here is to, uh, head upstairs and make some coffee. <laughs> that's what I get for waking up late. If you missed the beginning of my video, my hair is wet because I just woke up, um, like 10 minutes before I was supposed to be live. <laughs> so I took a shower and didn't get time to make coffee or go to a coffee shop. So, um, hey Linda. And so, Yeah. So I, I hope you enjoyed these cute little cards. Um, I will put pictures up and as well as give you the dimensions of the, the pieces that I was talking about. And um, until we meet again on another one of these, don't forget, encourage one another and build each other up. Have a great day.